that all the face hallelujah it's a good time there's no bad time in the presence of God because all things work together for good and so on that note I want to welcome everyone present here today I'm sure we all know why we are here we are here to celebrate a life. And part of the celebration is what we are doing today, which is the service of song. And so I first of all want to say to us, for those of us who are new to this hall, um, the female washroom is at the very extreme of it. That's not, the, not inside the hall, outside the hall. It's at the very extreme. The male one is just by this door here. We apologize for cables running all over the place. We, this is a very old hall. It was built, I think, in the 70s. And usually, we try to make it into the new world. And you know how difficult that is with the technology running all over the place. So please, bear with us. If you see all the cables, that's just the best we can. But brethren... And friends, I want to welcome everyone here. And I want to say to you that stay in God's presence because something good will happen to you today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank the name of the Lord for today. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be glad in it. We've gathered today in remembrance of the life of our daddy, grand daddy, son, uncle, and friends to some of us. Let us rise on our feet. I want us to bow our heads as we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the universe, the giver of life, the one that know the hand from the beginning, the one that formed us, the one that made us, the one that gave us the assignment in which we come to this world to fulfill, the one also who called us to himself when our time is done. Worship him and glorify him. Praise his holy name. Let's thank him for the life of our daddy that we just introduced and the family which he left behind. Thank him that his hand has not left the family. The Lord has not permitted the wicked to seize this opportunity to introduce any sorrow in this household. Bless his name. Bless his name. Let's commit everything we are doing here to the holy hands of the Lord, that all our activity in the service of song today, let the Lord, who is the Alpha and the Omega, take over, that from the beginning to the end of this program today, His presence, His goodness will overshadow us, and also to those who are connected to us far and near, let's ask that the presence of the Lord will visit them in their various homes and area of connections. Let's talk to the Lord, that as we gather today, let the spirit of oneness, the spirit of unity, of his goodness, let it come upon us. Let us also remember the family of the beloved, that the Lord, almighty God, will overshadow them with his grace. The family that are even extended that the Lord will console and comfort every one of them. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Our Father, we thank you for today. Lord, as we go into this program, we ask that your abiding presence go with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh Lord, that by your power you will direct us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here present physically, 
everyone connected far and near. Lord, we pray also that you extend your goodness to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Father, if there be any arrangement of the wicked to seize this opportunity of, of the departure of our borders, to cause chaos, whether in this environment or in the life of the family of the, of the beloved, Father, let such activities be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you will bless us with your presence today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that by the time when we are done here and we go, your grace will abide with us permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's all rise up and be in the mood of worship.
Praise the Lord. Um, our first Bible reading will be from the book of Revelations, chapter 21, um, from verses 1 to 8. Revelations 21, from verses 1 to 8. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Now I saw a heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will, deal, he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. Verse 4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write. For these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give up the fountain of water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Verse 8. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderous, sexually immoral, Sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Praise the Lord. Um, the second Bible reading is from Job 14, 1 to 14. Man is born of woman. Man who is born of woman is of few days and few full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and fades away. He flees like a shadow and does not continue. And do you open your eyes on such a one and bring me to judgment with yourself? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one. Since his days are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have appointed his limits so that he cannot pass. Verse 6. Look away from him that he may rest, till like a hired man he finishes his day. For there is hope for a tree, for if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that it tended, its tender shoots will not see. <laughs> Verse 8. Though its root may grow old in the earth, and its stump, its stump may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. But man dies and is laid away. Indeed, he breathes his last. And where is he? as water disappears from the sea and a river becomes parched and dries up. So man lies down and does not rise till the heavens are no more. They will not wake nor be roused from their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in the grave, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you will appoint me a set time and remember me. Verse 14. If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my hard service I will wait till my change comes. Praise the Lord. Our first hymn is hymn number one. Jesus lives, die, tear us now. 
bless you.
yes to be part of the pain of the family. But you know what the Bible says in Isaiah 61 verse 3? While I was praying for your family yesterday, mommy, it dropped in my heart and I sent it to um, Sheon. It said, he's the one that gives beauty for ashes to all who mourn in Zion. And I want you to take that word that for whatever we have lost, the Lord is ready to give us much more. And so we are here this morning to minister to you two songs. One is that he makes all things new. And the second one is that you can recover it all. And so shall it be for your family. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we're singing, he makes all things new right now. We read the scripture this just earlier, Revelations 5 and verse 21 and verse 5, it says, and he will make all things new. So we just want to sing that song we just sang. Make all things new. So I let them fall, surrendered to the floor. Sing with me. You may call things new. You may call things new. God of mercy and Lord, do what only you can do, and make all things new. Let's do the verse together. Only you can bring such beauty from the depths of Only you can take this shattered heart and make it beat again. Oh, you hold us all together in your ways. I surrender all I have and all I am.
from the ashes. We're just going to declare that word together. Hallelujah. Come on, say it again. Just pray it. Play it. From the ashes. Hallelujah. From the ashes. Come on, let's say it together. Come on now. From the ashes. Say it again. From the dust I will rise up, rise up, from the ashes, from the dust I will rise up, rise out of darkness, out of darkness, to the light I will rise up, rise up.
lost time and energy. Praise the Lord. We'll now have our third Bible reading um, from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 13. Um, the scripture is from Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, from verses 1 to 3. And I shall be reading from the New King James Version. For there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones. A time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, 
a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit has the worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-given task with which the sons of men are to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that nothing is better for them than to rejoice and to do good in their lives, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, there was one song I was singing yesterday. I was trying to remember it. And I think now I get it. It says, fading away like the stars of the morning. How many of us remember that song? Give me a volume, sir. And then the last part of the song says, Oh, me remembered by what? They have done. And that's what we are going to do right now. Our father Lee, I always, I always wanted to meet him. I always wanted to meet him because I, how do I put it? His son became my son. You know what that means? 
If a man's son becomes your son, you want to see the man that gave birth to that son. The biological father. I always wanted to meet him. I, I look forward to meeting him someday, but I knew he was in Ontario. And um, I heard great things about him. When I was talking to my sister Margaret one day, he said, wow, that was, say he was a great hematologist. And I said, oh, I never even knew that. So brethren, there are so many things about this man that many of us here might not have known. And this is an opportunity to know what God brought him to the world to do and what he achieved. And that's why we're going to say some things about destiny. I believe the Lord laid something for him and he walked that path. So on this note, I'm just going to leave Pastor Fanny. Praise the Lord. Sweet is the remembrance of the righteous. We know that uh, our Father that we are gathering together for today has touched many lives within this professional environment, neighbors, and friends across the world. We, uh, if we have the old time, to ask everyone to speak today about him. We might probably have to wait here till tomorrow. But we are going to call on some family members and also some friends to just say one or two words about him. And I pray that all these words that we hear today will help us to reinforce our memories about his lifetime when he was with us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The first person that we're going to invite over the Zoom to speak now is uh, Mrs. Fabian Alade. She would like to have her to take the floor and speak right now. And here, hello. Okay. Hello, please. Um, please hold on a bit, ma. Can you hear us? Okay, we can hear you too, but just a little bit. Just hold on a bit. We are fixing some technical things here. Amen. Even though I am more than three years older than him, we were friends. He was loving, caring, hardworking, and very straightforward. He is very carefree, but too trusting. If not for the meddling of his family, Dr. Lee MJJ would have seen me now. God will surely take care of the family that he left behind. I am sure all the children, God will be with them. God will protect them. We will surely miss Dr. JJ. I, as a person, I will surely miss him. 
because we were mates and we are on the same platform and we exchanged pleasantries. to me, I will leave. I, um, I have, I hope yesterday, uh, Shil and the other children will know that I will always be for them. Arising for me to come to their rescue. They can Describe him as a very trusting person, a legend, a man whose life touches many other lives. And the Bible said that a matter two or three, a matter of witness shall be established. We want to have Mr. Tonwa Mise Jeje to also give his own tribute about Dr. Lee Emi Majekodum Jeje. Mr. Tonwa Mise Hold on a bit while we connect so the people can hear over here. Can we have Technical crew should get out of this business. Let's go in. Praise the Lord. Huh? Do we have Dr. Tuma Mishi Hello? Dr. Tuma Mishi Jeje. We can't see here Dr. Tuma Mishi Jeje yet. Said no. Get this thing going for God's sake. God's sake. Oh. Is this in Canada that you can't see their connections? Oh well. Dr. Tom, Mr. JJ, we can hear you just a little bit. Hello, Dr. Tuan, Mr. Jajan. You can't hear anything. Can't hear anything. We can hear you. Just, can hear you just give us a minute. We're minute. connecting some people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. While we're trying to establish connection with Dr. Tuan, Mr. Jajan, we will come back we'll come to back his connection. We can, can please, please have Mr. Soji Olagoke. Let's have Mr. Soji Olagoke.
so um, just because there's so many things I can see that my dad, um, in particular, of all his three children, I was the one that looked like him. I was the one that he always used to rug, play with, you know. Um, I remember my childhood in Canada. I really do. Um, my dad truly was my best friend ever. Even in how things were not in our best as they were, he was always he was always looking out and caring for others. He was always trying to do the best that he could. And no matter, you know, all these challenges that we faced in Kenny and the challenges we faced as a family, um, I do know that he loved, he loved, he loved his children, regardless of, regardless of everything. I really miss him. I will always love him. I will always remember the memories. And I'm eternally grateful to call him my father, even in all things. I pray that God, in his infinite mercy, um, keeps us, those of us that are behind, and just help, help us live our lives just remembering the good of him and living our lives the best that we can. So, Dad... That's very touching, but thank you, Mr. Alfayemi. Now we want to go back to having Dr. Tuame Sejeje. We couldn't connect initially, but I think we now have a connection with him. You can go ahead, sir. No. Until nine. Doctor Tuami said, "Jaja, we could hear you." We could hear you. Have you put fuel in the generator? <laughs> and you want to go and put on the light? Ah, I did that never. Hey, you know? Who's my dear? My brother was a good is there, is there any fuel? There are good petrol in Nigeria. I am giving this tribute, tribute, tribute to my late. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Two hours ago, we could hear you, sir. On the occasion of the service of God, today, and in his honor, in Calgary, Canada, 26 February, 2022. In summary. My brother was a great man. What I remember him for in particular, ever so often, is his generosity, his joviality, his wittiness, his Candor and sincerity. Sometimes uh, I tend to think he was generous to a fault. Very kind. 
we will see a need in your life and he will work at meeting it even when you don't tell him a very typical example was when our car was stolen in 1991 within a very short time without me asking him he decided to volunteer us the use of one of the Let's clap for you, Dr. Kwame Shedede. Wonderful words. Words that taught us. And one can take a lesson from. Now we want to have Mr. Soji Olagoke. Dr. Soji Olagoke. Mr. Olagoke, are you on here? We can hear you. Hello. Hello. You can go ahead, sir. Yeah. Um, I'm giving this tribute to my good friend, who I call JMJ. We entered high school together in 1963, and we were we were very good friends in Christ school. Although he, he was a very brilliant man, very hardworking, and to a fault, like his brother said, he was generous to a fault. He likes to share his things, and uh, he's always very studious. And um, I remember him for good things that is always very helpful. When you go to him for anything, he will try to solve the problem the best way he could. Well, my last meeting with him was supposed to be the day before he died, but I had a doctor's appointment. Dilemma, but God knows best. We put everything in the hands of God. Well, and uh, is always top of his profession. There's a place in my heart Only you can feel There's a longing in my soul 
ritual. The first thing I want to then say in the physical is this. It is difficult to part. Is that easy? It's very difficult to part. This is the first thing that death throws at us. Separation. It's very difficult to part. Even for many of us that have kids, take your child for the first time to the university and drop him in the hall, hall of residence. Look, when you are driving away, you feel terrible. I don't know how many of us have felt so before. I've taken my kids to the, as soon as I drop them and I'm driving away, it's like, whoa. It's difficult to part. I know a lady who won visa lottery in those days in Nigeria. She got to the airport as she was passing the immigration. You know, you can't go beyond that level. She began to weep. The family was looking at her. They said, but she's not dying. But parting is difficult. That is the physical one. And you know what? The closer you are to the person, the harder it is when the person is not there. And also, if that person was occupying a particular part of your life, that vacuum will stay. You will have to struggle to fix it. Maybe it was the one paying your school fees, your tuition. Maybe it was the one cooking in the house. Maybe. There's a part of the bed the person lays on. It's hard to part. Very difficult. But I said that is the physical part of death. Let me quickly talk about the spiritual part of death. In the physical part of death, death is bad. Because it takes from you. It creates a vacuum. It takes away that thing you love very well. In the physical, death is bad. But listen to me, people. I used to fear death a lot as a kid, but as I began to grow, I stopped fearing death. In the spiritual, death is not bad. I'm going to give you five things before we leave. Number one, death is not bad. Number two, the time of our death and the number of years we are going to spend here before we leave is not stated anywhere. If you know when you're going to die, you are here. Let me see your hands up. I know you're a liar. Nobody knows. It's not stated. Rather, man was sent to fulfill a certain purpose. Everybody here, we are here to fulfill that purpose. And when that purpose is fulfilled, the giver will ask us to return. And you know what? We all fulfill the purpose at different times. Let me give you an instance. The tomato plant was sent to fulfill a purpose. Am I right? To give all of us tomato. How long does it take to have tomato? A few months. And he would have done his job. And after that, he dies. The papaya. In six months, it has fulfilled its destiny. And the papaya goes. Six, seven months. It's giving you the papaya you want to eat. And it's gone. It's done its own. The cocoa plant might take you four or five years. But it will still fulfill his plan. Are you somebody with me? So what I'm saying is, oh, this person just died. He has fulfilled his purpose. He might have fulfilled it at 40. Some will fulfill it like Jesus at 33. Today, the whole world is still talking about Jesus. He did it in 33 years. 
Actually, he did it in three years. But the world cannot stop talking about Jesus. But remember the man who lived for 969 years. Is it 996 or 969? Brother Methuselah. All we knew about Methuselah was he lived 969 and he died. That's all. How many people talk about Methuselah in their houses? And so people want to live. Oh, he didn't live long. He didn't live long. I say, wait. It's not how long. In the spiritual, it is how well. So we won't live like Methuselah. Number three. I gave you number one. Number one is that death is not bad in the spiritual. Number two, the time is not defined. It is only stated by the person who sent you the message, not you. And nobody knows. You don't know. Number three, there is no other way of going to meet God. How do you go to heaven? We only know a few people. One was Enoch, and the Bible said he was not because God took him. How? The Bible didn't tell us. Moses was not buried. The Bible said God buried it himself. The third person was Elijah. The only way we have known to go to heaven is that we will have to die. So don't worry. It's a transition. It's a transition. That's the way to go. Number four, this is not very good. This is not very good. But listen, let me tell you the truth. I'm a very factual person. When I preach, that's the way I preach. For that, some don't like it. There is nobody here. Nobody here. Except maybe him. That will be here in a hundred years' time. Nobody. In a hundred years, all of us here would have died. Am I correct? Please tell me if I'm right. So I won't be here in a hundred years' time. We're all going to go. Number five. This is very beautiful. Death is not the end. Did you hear that? That should make us happy. Death is not the end, people. The truth is this. Death is a process in living. The sting of death died at the resurrection. And because Jesus triumphed over death, Jesus is alive. And because he's alive, we will live. In 1 Corinthians 15, 55, because we don't have time, 1 Corinthians 15, 55, the Bible says something there. You say, oh, death, where's your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? Sometimes when I preach, I am pushed to speak like a Nigerian because I am one. Oh, death, where is your shakara? That thing, I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. You can't kill me. Because I will rise. Is somebody with me? I'm not going to be in the grave. I will rise. We are not going to stay in that place. So everybody, if you're having sad faces this morning, dry your faces. Dry your tears. Because you will not be in the ground. You will get up. The Bible says that every man that has his hope purifies himself. He said, we are not going to cry like people that have no hope. We have hope. Let me tell you one interesting thing I found out. When you slept last night, did you know how long you slept? Somebody would tell me he knew. You didn't know. You only looked at the, wrist, the clock that told you. If there were no clock there, you would have thought you just closed your eyes and you open your eyes. You won't be able to tell how long you slept. And listen, that's how the resurrection morning is going to be. For people who have gone down now, who are sleeping, they are resting. When the trumpet sounds that day, they will wake up and they will think they just went down there to rest. So relax, brethren. So where am I going to? If we know this, Death shouldn't frighten us again. Let me tell you, death has stopped frightening me. The only thing that bothers me about death is the things I need to do for myself, for my family, for the people, 
God, let me finish them. Apart from that, death doesn't frighten me anymore. Because the sting, the fear of death, in Nigeria parlance, the shakara of death, Jesus has removed it. People, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5 says, it is the living that know that they will die. <laughs> the dead doesn't know. So everything we are doing here should be a preparation for eternity. Are you getting me? Every business you are doing here should be a preparation for eternity. Whatever we do here now is for the living, it's not for the dead. Hello? Everything we are doing here is for the living. You know why? Our father here, he doesn't know what we are doing. He has no clue. He doesn't know. Whether we wear nice clothes or we wear dirty clothes, he doesn't know. Whether we say good things about him or we say bad things about him, he doesn't know. You know who feels it? Whatever we say or do or wear, do you know who is feeling it? Us. You want to prove that? If I stand here now and say, eh, Dr. JJ, man, that guy was cool, man. He was, like my brother said, he was such a good man. You know, we go out, he doesn't pay the, he pays the bills, he doesn't know. Who feels good about that statement? The man, is he feeling anything? If I also come here and I say, man, this guy was, was so, say all the bad things about him, you think he's going to move? You think he's going to wake up and say, you are saying bad things about me? Who is going to feel bad about the statement? Shame. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here? The dead doesn't care what you say about him. And so we prepare for that time when we are alive. Because the dead does not care. The Bible says, having known this in Psalm 90 verse 12, it says, therefore teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And then how do we gain heart of wisdom? Do we gain heart of wisdom in disobedience? People say, well, but what is disobedience? Well, what the Bible said is this, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 9, 10. If you are here and you still don't have fear, listen, you can't have the fear of the Lord and you live in sin. Pastor, why are you preaching sin? This is supposed to be a funeral. Listen, people, that's my function on earth. I told you I will fulfill my destiny. The Lord called me to say this, and I will say it. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible says God should teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart to wisdom. If you are here and you are not counting your days, I want to tell you the truth. Your days are going. When I was 20, 30, I eat anything I like. You see butter, you swallow butter. Butter, prum, prum, prum. Coca-Cola, ta 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 Bolly, we we'll take bolly, you know what they got bolly? Plantain. We we'll take, we'll take the roasted plantain, we put it in butter. When we put ekpa, granite, look at the combination. And then we we'll swallow, we we'll use Coca-Cola. Listen, people. You go do it now. The doctor is going to tell you. But you could do it at 40, maybe 20. If you start doing it at 60, the doctor will tell you your blood pressure is going up. The doctor will tell you your sugar level is going up. You know what that means? Remember now your creator in the days of thy youth. When the evil day come not. When you start hitting 50, the evil day is coming. 60, the evil day is coming. 70, the evil day is near. So listen to me. Get ready. Get set. And go. We will all go. But we have to be ready. Our father is gone. 
He has answered the ultimate call. But are you prepared to answer the call? Everybody here, you want to see the most stubborn people in the world. They are in North America. You talk about God, they say, I don't care. We have money, we have food, we have everything. But can you control debt? As, as, you know, some people are saying they want to freeze their body so that after 300 years, science would have woken them up. Try. I show. Try. If you come from the Azon part of Nigeria, you say, try it. Try. It's not going to work. Because the Bible says it is appointed unto every man wants to die. And after death, judgment. They say science will soon make it that we will not die again. Brethren, the preparation for eternity is now. For our father, he does not feel pains anymore. Inflation does not bother him. The truckers in Ontario, they don't, they don't bother him. The truckers can block all the roads. He doesn't care. Ukraine can be on fire. He doesn't care. At all. He is resting and he's in peace. That is the ultimate for every one of us. We will all one day rest. But are you going to rest to go where the Lord wants you to go? As I round up, I want to tell you this, people. You are a spirit. How many of us know that? You are a spirit. You have a soul that dwells in the body. But you know what we do? We spend more time on this body. We want to look at our shape. We want to look at the front. We want to look at the muscle. We want to look at the hair. Those are the first things that disappear when you enter the ground. But that's what we care for. The spirit, we don't care. The spirit, the Bible says, will return to the owner. And that's why you will give account. Are you here at this moment? And you are not sure. If right now, let me tell you, I told you, I said, nobody knows when it's going to happen. If right now you do, where shall you be when the first trumpet sounds? I say, where will you be when it sounds so loud? When it sounds so loud that you could wake up the dead. Brother, where will you be when it sounds? Oh, my sister, are you going to meet your Savior when the first trumpet sounds? I don't care. This is not America. We have everything. This is Canada. This is Dead men don't do Canada, not America. They, they just sleep. I want you to bow your head. I want you to bow your head. Our father is gone. But we thank God. He didn't do a wrong thing. The Bible says we have gone the ways of men. That's, what the, that's how the Bible decide, defined David's person. He said David went the ways of men. Abraham went the ways of men. Joseph went the ways of men. When it is your turn to go the ways of men, where will you end? If you are here today and you are not sure, you are not sure that if the breath goes now, you will not make it. You have an opportunity here, here today to say, God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, God. Because it will happen. You think it's going to be long. It won't be long. I know when I was 10 years old, I know my age today, I'm approaching 60. Will you make it on that day? I leave that to you. I leave that to you. You can go to your pastor. You can go and say, have mercy. You don't even need to. You can say it on your seat. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. He says, call upon him while he's near. He says, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord who will abundantly pardon. If you do it here, the Lord will pardon you and things will come anew. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away and everything becomes new. God can start a new life with you if you will let him. Thank you for hearing us, Holy Spirit. I release everyone, Lord, in this assembly unto your hands, Lord. 
For everyone, oh God, that have decided with you right now, Father, Lord, we ask for your mercy. And Father, for many who are still struggling, Holy Spirit, we ask that you talk to them. You will show them your word yourself. Thank you for hearing us, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. If you like that message, shout hallelujah. I like to hear that. It's a message that sometimes is, is difficult to swallow, but it is the message that we should reflect on every day. Our pastor said, death is not the end. Death is not the final. Death is a address change, change of address. Death is relocation. Where you are going, where I am going, it is what is important. May God bless you, Pastor. May God continue to increase you in Jesus' name. Now, we're going to be taking some special prayers. We'll be praying for the family, the wife, and the children. We'll also be praying for the burial program and activities that will be happening then. Also, we we'll pray for the community and the extended family. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. He's a wonderful Father. This is a time to pray for the family. We want to pray for the wife and the children. You are God Almighty. The one that never leaves one alone. Father, you are wonderful and happy to my floor. You said you are a father to the fatherless. And a husband to the widow. We bless and honor your great name, Jehovah. Because this one, we never know any vacuum in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus where their father cannot take them. Jehovah Nisi we walk you right there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our God and our Father, where they see that there is a fear ahead, you will be their portion. You will defend them. You will be with them. Father, everlasting rock of ages, I know there is a time in, the, in people's life. They just want to feel like a father's touch and a father's call. And a father's advice that you are a wonderful counselor. Where they cannot have that, Lord God Almighty, I know you will counsel them, am I right? In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Continue to be with them. Continue to be in the midst of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be the authority of light in the midst of their darkness. To the glory of the living God. I know eternal rock of ages are your wonderful father because we are putting you ahead. Because we know that you are always there for everybody. Father, we know eternal rock of ages that you will be their succor. You will be the blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, glory of heaven. We worship and adore your great name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Why we remain standing? The next uh, prayer is for the burial program and activities. Please, I ask you to join me as we pray unto God Almighty, as we commit the program, the burial program and all the activities that will follow. Let's begin to pray that God Almighty will take absolute control of that day and the activities that will be happening that day. Let's commit everything into the hands of God. I know we cannot do anything without him. Let's begin to ask for the presence of God, the wisdom of God, the power of God, to take absolute country, uh, control of that day in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for everything. Let's commit the trip, the journey into the hands of the Lord.
Father, you go with them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let every activity, Father, Lord, go smoothly in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, be the Alpha and the Omega, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Father, Lord, we appreciate you because you are the Lord of Lords and you are the King of Kings. We know with you we are okay. We know that absolute power belongs to you. Father, we commit this program of events unto your able and the burial that will be taking place back home. Father, in the name of Jesus, let everything go well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, all the activities, Father, Lord, that will happen that day, Lord, we pray that you will be in control in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit uh, the, the family that will be traveling and everyone that will be traveling all over the world and from different places to attend the burial program, Lord, that you will keep them safe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that everything will cooperate with them that day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, you are the greatest provider. You are the Jehovah Jireh. Everything that will be required, everything that will be needed for the burial, Father, Lord, we ask that you provide unto the family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we know, and we are not shying away from it, this is Nigeria. Lord, we commit everything to your evil one, Lord, that as they will go, everyone that will attend, Lord, they will not run into any snare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not be victim of any kidnapper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the roads that I will be traveling on, Father Lord, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray, Jehovah God, that even during the program, there will be salvation, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father, for in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In this session of prayer, we are praying for the community of friends left behind. His friends, his associates. Let's begin to ask the Lord to strengthen them. Say, Father, strengthen them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen them. Give them the strength, O Lord, to bear this irreparable loss in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because the Bible says in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through God which strengthen me. Begin, let's ask for the strength to bear this. Father, Lord, strengthen them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says in a situation like this, that could be the, their spirit is crushed. See, so in this situation, we are going to be asking for the Lord. Say, the Lord, please envelope them with your spirit in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come upon them. Let your spirit overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your spirit renew them. They, knew, they need a renewed mind. Oh, Lord, let your spirit renew them. Let your spirit renew their mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everlasting Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, O oh Lord, Daddy, Lord, we worship you, Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you for everything you are doing for this community of friends. Father, Lord, you are the only one that can comfort them. Arise, Lord, in your power and comfort them in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise, Lord, and pour out your spirit upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, grant them your enablement. Father, Lord, your enablement to be able to bear the loss. Oh, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise, Lord, and guide them in the name of Jesus. The way they should go, oh, Lord, my Father, guide them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, Lord, lead them, oh, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in everything they will be doing, oh, Lord. Arise, Lord, and let them know that you are God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let every spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus, our friend is gone. What shall we do? How shall we do it? Father, Lord, the Bible said you have not given us the spirit of fear, but that of power of love and of a sound mind. Oh, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, grant them that sound mind in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let the spirit of fear, Father, disappear in them in the name of Jesus. Lead them through in the name of Jesus. Grant them, Father, Lord, this good tidings, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Three powerful amen to that. 
Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. In this segment, we are praying for the extended family. And we have had so much testimony. Let us look at Hebrews 10, 33. It says, do, so do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. We are going to cry to God that, oh God, increase their faith, the faith of the family, and empower them to have confidence in you. Father, Lord, increase the faith of this family. The entire family of JJ, let them have confidence in you. That you, God, whatever you promise, you are able to do it. You have said that you will supply all their needs according to your riches in glory by, by Christ Jesus. Father, let it be known that you are the help of the helpless and the hope of the hopeless. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to ask God that his presence should be awesome in that family. When his presence is there, favor, protection, everything that you can think about that God can give will be there. As for the presence of God in any way in that family, in the name of Jesus, presence of the living God, overshadow the entire family of JJ in the name of Jesus. Even at this time, let your presence make it known that you are the best father, you are the best friend, you are the best husband. Let your presence be awesome. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. We are going to ask. The Bible says, let brotherly love continue. When you love, because our God is love, he said we cannot say we love God where we do not love our fellow men. We are going to cry to God that God should arise in his mercy and let godly love reign and rule among the entire JJ family. In the name of Jesus, let godly love reign and rule among this family. Let this death draw them close together. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Our God and our Father want to thank you because you are so awesome. Your ways are past finding out. Who are we to query your authority? You do as it pleases you in heaven or not in the seas. Father, we thank you that you have taken our brother away. And as we have been reassured, we shall see again. Let it be so in Jesus' name. I commit the entire JJ family to you. Lord God Almighty, bring them together in a new way that you let people know that this death is for their good. In the name of Jesus, every vacuum that the passing away of Dr. Oluyemi JJ has created in the extended family, let it be filled by your presence in Jesus' name. Father, let the blood of Jesus arise with all his weapons of war and fight for all of them. In the name of Jesus, let it be well with them. Father, we thank you because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and received. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the service so far. And um, I understand that just because of time, we're going to go on to the very last song, which is hymn number six. Sleep on, beloved. Sleep on and take thy rest. As we have heard, our father is not dead. He's asleep. I'm going to plead with us not to take this song fast because it is something that you want to reminisce on and let it go for the sake of the family.
Sleep on thee, Lord, let sleep on, take thy rest. Lay down thy head upon thy Savior's breast. We love thee well, for Jesus loves thee best. Good night, good night, good night. Come ease thy slumber, rise and eat and sleep, for thou shalt wake. To toil and weep, thy knees are perfect and deep. Good night, good night, good night. Until the shadows from the earth have cast, until he gathers in his shades at last. Until the twilight will be overpassed. Good night, good night, good night. Until the Easter glory lights the skies. Until the dead in Jesus shall arise. And he shall come. But not in lonely guys. Good night, good night, good night. Until men give the food by love divine, now in thy likeness all the Lord shall shine, and he shall bring. That glory crown of thine. Good night, good night, good night. Only good night, beloved, not farewell. A little while we and all the saints shall dwell. Praise the Lord. Just like the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 says there is time for everything. So we are coming close to the end of the program. Thank you for your patience. Uh, this junction I'm going to call on our daddy, uh, Pastor Nusa Idaosa, to uh, give us the announcement. Hallelujah. I think, I don't know whether it's the verse before this. Um, oh, she jumped off the chair. Okay, I'll use mine. Um, it says, on, in verse 6, it says, Only good night, beloved, not farewell. A little while, all the saints shall dwell. Beloved, let's get ready for good night and not farewell. We all know what that means. I won't say too much, but I want to thank everyone. But before we leave, we'll, because we're just about to leave, I want to 
introduce or rather recognize the presence of some of us here. We have the senior pastor from MFM here in Calgary, Pastor Richard. Can you stand up, sir? Let's put our hands together for him. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you for coming. It's, um, I want to thank God for the humility in his life. I've never met him. I've never met him. I was on my way to the clinic yesterday when I got a phone call from him. Apparently, he sent me a text and I didn't get it. No, he called me. I didn't get it. And he sent a text. And my car read the text. And I said, wow. I will call him back. I got back and I called him. He said, Pastor, I just wanted to hear your voice before I meet you. And I said, wow. Sir, God will bless you. And with him, there are ministers from MFM too. Shall we just rise on our feet? All the ministers from MFM. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Amen. And um, because the program was jointly handled by All Citizens Church and MFM, I'm the pastor of All Citizens Church. And with me, I have um, the ministers also from All Citizens Church. And I have, have the ministers rise on your feet, please. It's, if you look at our ministers, they are a very interesting bunch. You will not realize that one of our drummers was one of the ministers. And also the man there is also one of the ministers. God bless you, brethren. Thank you so much. Amen. And one reason why I decided to do this is this. Brethren, if you are in this town and you are still struggling with a church to go to, I don't know their address. Can someone please echo it to us? MFM should not be difficult to find. Please go on the internet and type Mountain of Fire, MFM, and you will find it. If you cannot find it, call my phone number. I will tell you where they are. So please, if you don't have a place to fellowship in town, and you are around them, please go there. The same goes for All Citizens Church. This is where we use Sundays and Tuesdays. If you live not too far from here and... The Lord puts it in your heart and you're looking for a place to fellowship. Please feel free and be here. The Lord bless you and keep you. At this point, we are going to call a member of the family to just come give us a statement of appreciation. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. On behalf of the um, Dr. Olu Emizuju family, I want to thank each and every person who assisted, helped, um, whether financial or otherwise, with um, the logistics, the planning, as well as actually being um, contributing in one way or the other, or manner or the other, towards this um, service of songs, also known as Celebration of Life. Um, I want to thank some people specially, I will have to do so. Um, there's a man here that the first time I met him, um, I wasn't, I, we had a rocky start. I think I'm one of those people, I start things off on a rocky note until you get to know me. Um, he is the chief engineer on that PA system. His name is um, James Olubumi. Adebayo. He has, he, was a, he has been a great um, resource. He has been a great tool. Um, he has helped in ways he may not even understand the magnitude and the capacity of what he was able to help me achieve here. And I thank him very much from the bottom of my heart. As well, I also want to thank the, um, a couple that only today I found their last name, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Olawali. Um, I did not know that was Mama Kwelumi's last name. So, you know, whenever you save someone's name in the phone, I have Mama Kwelumi's name as Mama Kwelumi, but I don't know how to put the last name. So I was like, okay, so if you, one day, I will call her Mama Kwelumi till I find the last name. You know, you're not supposed to call and go and meet an elder and say, what's your name? It's considered insulting where we are from. So, <laughs> so I want to thank them, uh, most especially for a lot of what they've done behind the scenes, not just with this, but also with um, some of the funeral arrangements. I want to thank them very much from the bottom of my heart on behalf of the family. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
as well, I also want to thank um, all the other members of the um, ATPM um, Young Adults, uh, whether it is Tosin, whether it is uh, Sister Felicia, whether it is Shana, whether it's Donnell, Judith, whoever, who helped in um, putting this together. There was a lady who helped set this up yesterday. Her name was, um, I think, was it Auntie Nike or Sister Nike? Yeah, so I wanted to also thank that woman as well. Um, and um, there are refreshments, so you know, um, there are refreshments at the back on your way out. Um, we'll be distributing those for those who came. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, and also, in regards to the funeral ceremony, that is still being planned, but we will um, let you all know shortly. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for contributing towards this, and thank you for being here. God bless you all. Thank you, Shil. Uh, now we uh, come to the close. We can never overpray. We can only underpray. So at this junction, I have the privilege in inviting Pastor Richard Ebofin for prayers and benediction. Let me also say thank you very much, uh, Pastor Mr. for allowing us in your sanctuary. Sister Tosin, thank you very much. God bless you. And every one of you that made it, you know, we all have a lot of uh, things doing today. And those of you that are joining us on Zoom too, God bless you. We pray that the presence of the living God will be upon all in Jesus' name. Let us rise as we pray. Our glorious and eternal Father, we thank you. Because we started with you and we know you are the Alpha, you are the Omega. The in between you are God. And when we cease to exist, you continue to be God. Because death cannot kill you. Death can take man, death can take woman, death can even take children. But death cannot touch you. Because you are life yourself. Father, we ask that life the spiritual life will flow into everyone connected to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we are praying. We pray, O oh Lord, for Dr. Cecilia and JJ. We pray for Olua Shion JJ. We pray for Olua. We pray for Kenny. We pray for Ralph and Michael Lusu that the hand of the living God we be upon this family afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. The terror of death will not swallow your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. The terror of what the future will hold for you in the absence of your husband, Dr. JJ, in the as uh, absence of your father, Sheung, in the absence of your father, in the absence of your father, Kenny, the power of the Holy Spirit will sustain you beyond your fear in the name of Jesus Christ. The extended family, the Lord himself will keep you. The community of friends, the com professional community, the Lord will keep you. And the church that this family belong to, the Lord will strengthen everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we to you be all the glory. As we go, we go in your hand. We go in your mercy. We go by your grace. Let your sustaining hand go with us. In Jesus' name. Let us share the grace. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and sustain you. Thank you for coming.
Jesus say yes, so we're just going to start with that one, and then we're going to go into the second one. I'm not worried about a thing, because I know you are guiding me. Where you lead me, Lord, I will go. I know because I know who's in control. There's no limit to what you can do, because it all belongs to you. Yes, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Yes, it all belongs to you. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Jesus says yes, nobody can say guys to be really loud. It all belongs to you. 
you, I gave this one. I don't know if it's the modulation that's messing with me or if it's just the switch from the beginning part to the chorus. So I need, I need to hear the, the, the music. So are you having a hard time in that second part? Are you doing okay with the second part? Okay, we can start with the chorus. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. 